Hey everyone, another quick tutorial. This time is the Torque Visualizer. Torque Visualizer is a easy way to show a color change or a light intensity change based on the volume that you're talking at. Let's get started. So we're going to spawn a cube. And this will be what, what's lighting up, but this could easily be an avatar or some other object that you wanted to react to. Audio is basically any source. So here we're going to inspect the box, go to the bottom, attach component, uncategorized, scroll to T, and you'll see talk, uh, TA, talk visualizer. And then we need the material that's on the cube, so I can do that this way. Got it ready, and so you'll see here the talk visualizer has persistent updated or editor and enabled, a bit like any other component. It also has input, um, which is the um, Float value, which controls the uh, the torque visualizer. It's basically the higher that value, the higher it will um, make the material color change or the light intensity change. Let me set things up, and it'll be easier to explain then. So we take the albedo color of the material, drop it into the material color, and then uh, close out the material here because we're done with that. We set the base color to be red. Here, and then for the input, we're going to need a um, volume that changes. For that here, I'm going to inspect me and go to my head. And on the head proxy here, you'll see a volume meter with a float here that controls how, just shows how loud I'm talking. So if I grab this property and put it into the input, you'll now see that uh, it is going to drive the materials uh, intensity based on, sorry, the materials color based on how I'm speaking. I'm going to change this material to be uh, slightly different by changing up the, let's deselect me here, by adding a little bit of uh, emission to here. So now you can see here that it's making things flash when I talk. So you can go here and now you'll see that um, we have when I talk, it's now red, and when I'm not talking, it's back down to black. Let's uh, up everything here, so we can up this to... Ah, it's that. Let's put that as one as well. There we go. There you go. Simple way to do it. Um, you can do that on the light as well. Um, the reason why this exists is it's because used. it's used on the default floating head avatar. You'll notice there that they're all a color. The headset's a color. And that when they talk, the light intensity of the material changes. And this is the component that's driving it. You can also wire this up to uh, a light with the light intensity value or sort of any other audio source. You can do it, I think, on music, for example. So if we were to grab from Neos Essentials Music. Here we've got a music track. I don't have music enabled for my recording. Um, but if we inspect this, go to the root here, you should see, sit on this. Ah, yes, we need a volume meter. To do this, you'll need to go ahead to attach component. Uh, I think it's under media. Utility, yep, volume meter here. The volume meter is the component I also set up here. When you set up your avatar, if you check that add volume meter option, which is uh, to avatar creator here, you'll see set up volume meter. That'll add it to your head. So I always recommend doing that. Otherwise, you'll have to do this step manually. So here with the volume meter, it says source. And so I can do uh, audio output, I think. It's the clip player. Yes, it's the clip player. So now this volume meter will change based on how loud this track is. And so we can then plug this volume meter value into that. And now this is synced to the, the volume of the track. And also the cube's doing it too. That's the talk visualizer. It's a super modular component that can be used for uh, both video and sound clips, as I showed here, and also your voice with the volume meter from your head. Hope that helps. See you next time.